Welcome to Beeb Watch. This is the show where we put the state broadcaster under the microscope and give it the talk TV treatment. And remember, I'm watching the BBC, so you don't have to. Let's kick off with what I feel is an absolute disgrace. Up early the other day, I could hardly believe my ears. There was the breakfast TV presenter Sally Nugent trailing an item they were going to be doing later on BBC Breakfast about the legendary Dam Busters raid. Uh, described by Sally Nugent on the 80th anniversary of that incredible act of British brilliance and British bravery, an act that swung the war in our favour, Sally Nugent, the host, dismissed it as the infamous Dam Busters raid. 80 years after 19 Lancaster bombers took part in the infamous Dam Buster raids, infamous Dam Buster raids, infamous Dam Buster raids. <laughs> Infamous, unbelievable. What is it about this organization that it hates this country so much? That was an act of treachery and the BBC owes this nation, all the heroes who laid down their lives in the Second World War, uh, particularly in the RAF, it owes them a heartfelt apology. This was ground zero of BBC awfulness. From one BBC presenter to another, for nearly 20 years, Tim Westwood, of Radio One was the voice of hip hop, a hero to millions who gave that music its oxygen of publicity. He now stands accused of using his position, his celebrity, to prey on female victims and is under investigation by the police for a series of sex assaults, alleged sex assaults, which he denies. These are the allegations. They are being investigated not only by the police, but by the BBC itself. This corporation has a history of covering up its dirty secrets. It has always been a secretive organization. I know this as a journalist who used to have to deal with them all the time. They do not like the public to know what goes on behind closed doors at Broadcasting House. And they could be in big trouble here, so much so that they realize this. They've set up their own hotline to ask if any more females have allegations to make about Tim Westwood. So the BBC has a really, really worrying situation on its hands. This is a potentially sinister story that is not going away. All eyes are on it. Watch this space. To the BAFTAs, screened as always lovingly by the BBC, where actress Siobhan McSweeney, who plays Sister Michael in the very funny comedy series Derry Girls, won Best Female Comedy Performance. And she took to the stage and delivered one of those really annoying, lovey political speeches. So accepting her award, she felt it necessary to say, oh, well, this is on behalf of me, but also it's time we condemned all the politicians in Dublin and London and Westminster letting us down and all this kind of crap. In terms of political outbursts by actors on stage at award ceremonies, it was pretty mild stuff. Well, compare what she actually said to what the BBC put out. Mother and father who aren't in here, but I'm going to be quick because it has to be to the people of Derry. Thank you for taking me into your hearts and your living rooms. Thank you so much. Mother and father who aren't in here, but I'm going to be quick because it has to be to the people of Derry. Thank you for taking me into your hearts and your living rooms. I am daily impressed with how ye encompass the spirit of compromise and resilience, despite the indignities, ignorance and stupidity of your so-called leaders in Dublin, Stormont and Westminster. Poor old Siobhan's political outburst didn't get a look in. There you go. Outright censorship. The BBC, not the home of free speech. And finally, although we're trying to, Let's not forget Eurovision. And I told you, didn't I? No good will come of the BBC choosing as our contestant, May Muller, 
a left-wing, Britain-hating, Boris-hating fanatic. No good would come of that, I told you, didn't I? And guess what? She came second to last. But on the plus side, it's always good to beat the Germans. That's it for this week's Bead Watch. Whether you agree or disagree with anything I've said, let me know what you think in the comments. I've been Kevin O'Sullivan. That's quite enough of the BBC. I'm changing channels. Thank <laughs> you.